Okay, I'm going to uh, take you through the process of creating a new order. So uh, we're going to get to our home screen and you can click on sign in either here or here and just type in your normal email address that you use and your same password and hit sign in and go to uh, new job order, the fourth one from the left. Click on that you'll see these four tabs come up. The first one is the basic information that's highlighted green. We're going to fill in the name of the deceased, any titles, date of birth, date of death. If you don't want that, hit NA for not applicable. And get these in there. Hit save and continue. We're going to uh, primary image is the second tab. And um, we're going to click in this box here to go find the image we want. So wherever it's stored on a computer, go find that, click it, and upload that. Once it's done uploading, it'll change to uh, blue with the line. You can click on that just to preview it, make sure you got the right one. That's what I want. And um, this is where you can tell us if there's any other people in the photo that you want to keep. Let us know if there's two people for an anniversary, you would hit one additional. Um, if there's four people in the photo, you know, it's a... Uh, you have to tell us which person you want. You would type in, you know, the lady on the left with the hat or something right here. So in this case, uh, pretty self-explanatory, one photo, one person, and hit save and continue. And then the third tab is where we're going to pick the products we want to add to this order. So we're going to start off with the portrait. We'll go through all of them. Uh, choose your background. You can pick any of these premium backgrounds uh, or just leave it at no preference and our artist will pick the background that works best. Let us know if there's any special instructions and hit save and return. We're also going to order a collage. Add that to order. This is where um, the drag and drop might come in handy. So if you've got four or five pictures, rather than go through each one individually, you can just find your um, four pictures that you want. In this case, four pictures, just drag them all over. Once they get done uploading, you can click on them to preview them. Uh, while it's doing that, I'll make sure I've got the background I want selected. Um, no preference. Again, I'm going to let the artist pick. And let us know about the text on the 8x10s. Once all four of them are there, you can click on one just to see if it's... You can click on all of them make sure you've got the right ones. Now let's click on a couple. Looks like they're all there. And hit Save and Return. So we've got the uh, portrait, the collage. Let's do the legacy. Add that to the order. Again, I'm going to go with no preference on the background. Pick whatever you'd like. Uh, this is where you type in uh, the obituary. Uh, most likely you're going to copy and paste the obituary. But we're just going to type something in for the sake of this. And save and return. Let's add the marquee to the order. Uh, again, check the background you'd like. Uh, marquee header, you know, usually start with a visitation here. We're going to, the top one's going to be the, the name, titles, and the date. But type in uh, the correct header you want for the visitation, um, if it's going to be called visitation, which usually that's pretty common for this. And then put the times and the dates and the places. Um, for the mark, for the next header, um, funeral service is what we have suggested, but um, you know, lots of times people will like to put memorial service. So if it is memorial service, just type in specifically what you want so we know exactly what should be there. Could be um, celebration of life service, could be a funeral mass, and again, the times and the dates um, to 2 p.m. in the locations. And then again, with the, the interment, uh, pretty common there. Otherwise, you know, the word burial could be used there. So whatever whatever you want is what we're going to copy and paste and use for the final. So we're going to put the location. Sunrise Cemetery. And any instructions that are special and save and return. And then lastly, we have the reflection. And this is where we provide two different um, bits of text. The Lord is my shepherd, Bible verse, or for everything there is a season. Choose which one of either those two or your own custom text up to 100 words. And we have different backgrounds for the uh, reflections. You can see they all have a water theme. So the 
deceased picture can be reflected in the background. So uh, choose the one you want there. We're going to go with uh, waterfall for this one. And any special instructions and save and return. So we just ordered all five of these products. And hit save and continue. And now you have a chance to review your order and you can see where the legacy and the marquee are both. Uh, the artwork is free for both of those and that's because we ordered a portrait or a collage. One of those. Either one would allow the, the artwork to be free for those two. Um, and let's say now as you're reviewing something you just want to change something. Um, you notice that you um, the time it should be 1 to 5 instead of 1 to 4 or 1 to 3. So you can change that now before you submit the order. There's no cost obviously for any of that. Let's go back to um, you can go back to the basic information and that's where you would actually change you know her name if you wanted to fix aunt uh, add um, you know friend in here if that was something you forgot um, hit save and continue if you would like to go to the specific thing and change the time go back to that marquee and change this to three o'clock and just just so you got it right before you send it in and there's no no charges involved save and continue go back and review the order again look at the total and you got the option for an hour and a half turnaround which is the rush and that's an extra two dollars otherwise it's going to be a six hour turnaround and then submit the order so everything checks out looks good submit the order take a few seconds here to process all that and then it's going to bring you to this page to where we can now get the details on MMA Jones, the job we just submitted. And click on the details. You can see it says order pending, um, which means, again, nobody's picked it up yet. It's just been, you know, 10 seconds since we placed the order. As soon as some an artist picks it up, it'll say um, in progress or something to that effect. So you'll know it's being worked on. And um, within six hours, it'll be done if it's a regular job. Within 90 minutes, it'll be done if it's a rush. So... Uh, I'll follow up this with um, tutorials on, you know, printing your pictures and how to get the downloads saved and um, making change orders and things like that. But this was how to place an order. Thanks.